Hi folks, my name is Dale Baker. Today we're going to do something a little bit different in the G6PDD group. Um, <clears throat> but first a little bit about, a little about me. Uh, my name, as I said, is Dale Baker. I am the author of two books. I have a website. Uh, I have this discussion group and a lot of other things. Most of the people that are in this group know who I am. Um, <clears throat> today, our discussion is about women with G6PDD and the myths that have um, been about them for a long time. First, a little history. In 1956, a paper was published by a man named Butler, Dr. Butler, and, and others about G6PDD. Um, announcing it to the world, they discovered uh, discovered it and, and made it public. Well, in, um, when it was first discovered, they thought that women were uh, not susceptible with G6PDD when they only had one affected X chromosome. Now, as, as most people know, women have two X chromosomes, men have one. Because men have only one, if that X chromosome is affected by G6PDD, they will be G6PDD. They will have all of the symptoms, et, et cetera, uh, having to do with G6PDD. Women, however, were thought to be um, X uh, they thought G6PDD was X-linked recessive. What that means is that they thought that a woman who had G6PDD was not symptomatic. They thought that the other X chromosome would compensate for the affected chromosome. Well, that went along for a long time. In fact, it's still a myth that, that affects a lot of people, or affects a lot of people who, who write about G6PDD. Uh, but it's not true. In 1962, a, a doctor by the name of Dr. Lyon uh, contacted uh, Dr. Butler, and they got together to test a theory that she had. She believed that in the very early stages of a female uh, embryo, that every single cell in the embryo's body chose one of those X chromosomes to deactivate. Now, if you think about that a minute, a deactivated X chromosome can't help a X chromosome that has a problem. It just, it just can't happen. So what happens is, and they, and they prove this to be true, what happens is that in a woman, one of the X chromosomes is deactivated and the other is, is, is not. Now, that's a random thing. It can happen, uh, half of them can be um, deactivated. Uh, well, half, half of the ones that are affected can be deactivated. Half of the ones that are affected cannot be dis deactivated or a greater proportion of ones that have the defective gene can be activated and uh, a lesser portion of, of uh, her X chromosomes that are not affected can be deactivated. So it's kind of confusing. Uh, let's, let's kind of delve into this a little bit more. In 2005, uh, a friend of mine who is now a doctor, he, he originally found me uh, several years back as a, as a student, a medical student. He has since graduated medical school, and he's, uh, I think he's finished his residency, and he's, he's, a, he's a doctor now. He told me uh, about a year ago that um, this theory, they called it lionization or mosaicism, uh, they, he told me that this theory was now a law and had been uh, accepted as a law 
in about 2005. So it's no longer a theory. It's, 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 a, it's a known fact. The problem <clears throat> with women is that they believe and have been taught that they are asymptomatic. They don't have symptoms. And it's just a fa fallacy. It is just not true. I don't know how many women I have run into that have believed that they were not symptomatic, only to find out later in life that they were symptomatic, and it has led to a lot of medical problems. Um, most of the time, they don't know that they even have G6PDD, because if, if a greater percentage of them, uh, w with uh, the greater percentage of the X chromosomes that were not affected um, are active, then uh, they, they don't have uh, as great a symptoms as somebody with, uh, uh, as, a, as a man who has G6PDD. One half of their, or approximately one half of their, of their red blood cells will react to triggers. Not all of them, but about one half of them. So the severity of their reactions are not nearly as bad as a man. Um, but I have a cousin whose mother was is G six PDD. She she is uh, we call it we call them uh, partially deficient. Her, her mother was partially deficient, and she was arguing with a hematologist in Utah about her mother being symptomatic. And the hematologist was just saying, no, that's not true. Women are not symptomatic. And they argued for, for quite a while, and finally the doctor left and went to, dis, um, to do some research on his own. And he came back a little bit later and said, uh, I was wrong. They are symptomatic. And the problem is, is that low-level hemolysis. Low-level hemolysis is that is hemolysis, but it's not as great as, as, as a man's. Okay, It doesn't affect as many blood cells. He says that, that over time, this low-level hemolysis depletes the body of of uh, necessary nutrients in order to make red blood cells. It's, the body just can't keep up. So over time, uh, the body's trying to get the, the, uh, uh, the nutrients that it needs. It doesn't have them, so it takes them from someplace else. This is a very, very bad thing. Usually women don't even know what's happening. But the taking of nutrients from other organs in the body can be devastating. Uh, it could be the heart. It could be any, any vital organ. It could be any, any place. And, um, and it causes a lot of, of, of medical issues. I've talked to I don't know how many women who have had medical problems. They've gone to the doctor. The doctor has no clue what's going on. And doesn't know how to help them and they uh, they're misdiagnosed they are they're they're told that they're hypochondriacs it's it's amazing the number of of, of problems that that um, they're told they have when actually it's just one it's just that they are g6 pdd and don't know it if they're lucky they'll catch a good doctor on a good time at a good time and he will think to test for G6 PDD and they will learn that way or the most common way that a woman learns that she has G6 PDD is through having a boy child that has G6 PDD now think of uh, boys boys again they're they have one X chromosome they have one Y chromosome they get the Y chromosome from their father G6PDD does not exist on the Y chromosome. It's only on the X chromosome.
okay? They get the X chromosome from their mother. So they couldn't possibly be G6PDD from their father. It has to come from their mother, okay? So um, they learn that way. If they're lucky enough to find out that if a son has it, they have it. And unfortunately, that is also not the case most of the time. So over time, <clears throat> again, women become very symptomatic. They have other diseases. They have other problems. And I don't know how many of them have come to me and said, I don't have any problems. I'm fine. I don't, I don't, I, I eat everything on the avoid list. I, I, I don't have any problems. And uh, they, and a lot of the times they'll say, well, I'm anemic once in a while. Okay, being anemic could be caused by G6PDD. They're, they're, they think they're not symptomatic. A lot of things that they have, a lot of problems that they have, they have no idea that it has anything to do with G6PDD. No idea at all. So... If I can manage to talk them into following my, my avoid list, uh, about three or four weeks later, they start feeling better. Things that, that bothered them, <clears throat> excuse me, things that bothered them stop bothering them. Uh, headaches go away. You, it's amazing the number of problems that these women have that just disappear that they had no idea on earth was caused by G6PDD. Um, if, if you uh, ask a lot of people on the forum, they'll tell you that, um, that it has made a huge difference in their life. So that is, that is my um, uh, thoughts for the day. I'm going to start doing these more often. I'm not sure exactly how often. We'll, we'll probably start out with about once a week. Uh, it may become more often after a while. It depends on how well they're, they're received. If, if you guys like it, please like and, and, and share the, the video in the, at the bottom of the, of the screen there. And, um, and, and tell your friends about it. I will probably be doing them on... Uh, uh, I'm not, I'm not sure, either probably a Wednesday. And, um, and we'll, we'll just keep on doing them and, and see how it goes. I'm going to try to answer most of the questions that you have uh, in this setting, in a live setting. The reason is because I think I can explain it, things a little better. Um, uh, hopefully I'll get a little better at doing this. And, uh, and, and, and we'll work it out. We'll, uh, we'll make it happen. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I, I appreciate everybody's uh, input in, in the forum. <clears throat> I very much appreciate the, the admins that, that help me. It is um, amazing uh, how much help that they give me. I don't think I could do it anymore by myself. There are 16,000 members of this forum now. And that doesn't include all the, all the people that go to the website, and it doesn't include all of the... You know, there's just, there's just a, a whole bunch of people. I think the website gets um, somewhere around 1,500 visits a day. And um, it, it's time to start moving out and getting, getting better at, at doing all this stuff. So... I appreciate the admins very much. And I appreciate you for being a member. Thank you very much for watching. And we'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye.